Hello everyone and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies. And the time has come for us to finally delve into mods. That is right. After playing the game fairly extensively, I still haven't tried out multiplayer, but that will come in time as well. Um, uh, but again, honestly, there's just so much to explore with this game single player and then like multiplayer on top of that is going to be insane. Uh, so this, I mean, honestly, I'm going to be playing this game for a long time to come because it's actually still in early access. That's the other crazy thing. And I also saw uh, there is currently in a beta release, which I, I'm not going to be getting because I don't know how stable the beta is, but uh, biplanes are being added. So there's like planes and stuff are going to be added. So it's so cool. And speaking of like planes and that kind of thing, this mod actually, I don't know if it, in I don't think it, includes mo uh, planes but it does include sort of like miniature airships that are actually like start out at, on other airships and kind of are, are launched from there but anyway yeah this is the catalytic expansion mod and the creator of this mod actually uh, requested specifically that I do this and I'm going to and I'm so excited I actually had heard about this mod like early on and when I started playing the game when I started playing airships like I heard a lot of people talking about on the steam forums and just in the workshop I catalytic expansion that's probably the number one mod I've heard about so far I have heard of a couple others but this is the main one so we're going to be dedicating quite a while to just exploring this mod and seeing what it has to offer um, and one of the cool things about this mod is not only does it add in new, as in a lot of new components, a lot of new weapons and stuff like that, new ways to design airships. We're actually going to be re revisiting some of our older designs uh, with this mod and, uh, and basically using this mod to make some of our previous designs so much better than what we could in the base game, which is I'm really looking forward to. Uh, but also this mod also adds in some pretty cool stuff where you can actually have buildings So like this is actually for the single-player campaign This mod actually has stuff for the campaign where you can actually have buildings in your cities that give you additional income and stuff like that So that's also a really cool component where this isn't just about the ships and the buildings and stuff uh, Or just about the ships and like the all the options it gives it also actually includes Some stuff that will affect the campaign. So I'm really looking forward to it but yeah, this is, it's already loaded up. We're good to go. We're going to back out of here and we're going to go into design and fight. And we're going to do uh, land ship editor first of all, because, oh boy, this is, yeah, this is going to be just, oh wow, I'm so excited. Um, I, there's a lot in this mod. This mod is very extensive and it's going to kind of be hard to like get through everything. Like there's so much new stuff. So uh, we have the aid post, first aid post for crew members. This is basically a small version of the med bay, which is really cool. Just adds in a lot of stuff like that. Um, charging station, worker droids need to periodically uh, change or they uh, risk deactivating the electrical powered thing. So it adds in like uh, a bunch of new cool stuff. Hospital, uh, large bridge, um, large quarters. We've got the sick bay, which I, yeah, the sick bay, which is can restore uh, to full fighting shape again, whether they drag themselves here under their own power or carried by comrades. So pretty cool stuff. Decks and trench likes. So we have a deck, a deck gun, deck gun flipped, deck hill, and a lot of just, this is a lot of really interesting stuff. Uh, um, trench cannons and stuff. So this mod also adds in the ability to like have trenches. Um, which is also really cool because uh, that adds in a lot of more options for defensive buildings. So then we also have, we're actually going to close this down. Uh, just going through here, we got auto, um, automated cannon, um, a modified deck gun for use as a main, main straight type cannon, automated cannon, automated rifle, charging station, which again is for droids, clockwork mind, uh, D-A-A-R-S, drones, automated ammo routing system. Uh, drones bomb bay it's got yeah drone tracks automated six-wheel drive almost feel feels like the future so this is actually some allows for some tracks for the tanks and stuff uh, heavy auto cannon so sounds sounds cool uh, yeah so the automated tracks again just a lot of really cool stuff here and then we have so let's close automation out and commerce um, ship bound city Wait, hold on what is this so this pie in the sky is a home for some of the most uh, entrepreneurial citizens in your empire. The city has a significant water system, but lacks the ability to grow food, except small some small pot plants. As some of the empire, as such, the empire decides to build this massive wonder. Has to have a decent amount of its land allocated to food production. Generates two hundred uh, appearances work in progress. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, we also have trade stores. Um, so yeah, hold on, let me get that out. 
uh, storage that houses various bits and bobs, allows your ships and buildings to engage in trade when not on defense or offense generates. Trash large, okay, that's just silly. I get it that production produces waste, but this is just going overbound. Did you really have to import it from another city cities in exchange for money? So, okay, trash, enhancer. A secondary electrostatic generator improves sh uh, most ship functions from cough coffee and seat heaters to being able to use more light bulbs and mechanized aim assist in gunner posts to, to supercharging dust tanks and propellers. So uh, that's a lift enhancer, large legs. So yeah, we're getting into um, commerce. Oh, that's actually lift, You're right? So commerce is just that stuff. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, lift is all of those things. Propulsion, uh, doesn't look like we have a whole lot. A uh, big ammo store, that's new. Large legs, da da da. All of that stuff looks pretty cool. Uh, refined oil, so a compact storage of fuel for use in combustion engines, or in other words, anything that burns stuff to make it go. So that actually basically is a replacement to um, coal. Uh, I don't know what the date, what the limitation. Is. Small refined oil, uh, good for less than a small, more economical version. Great for your less than demanding vessels. Uh, trade stores, yep. Sounds about right. Shaping structures, and you got a lot of shaping stuff we can do. Structural, we got a corridor and a deck, and then a decoupler. Uh, instantly disconnecting modules with a corridor. This is what I was most excited about when I heard that this was one of the things in the mod. Um, so basically, this is going to be uh, this is going to basically allow us to do an, a, a redesign of the starfish slash hydra slash gemini, whichever name it ends up getting uh, but this is going to allow us to basically make a new version of it where we can actually opt to choose the stuff if we want to um high speed ladder solution elevator that's pretty cool uh, we also have escalator fire door grand keel small keel structural brace let's see what this is this brace will reduce structural strain on ships and buildings by providing a rigid but flexible support any adjacent modules will gain a boon to its integrity Cool thing, I'd like to see something like that in the base game to allow bigger ships to be valuable. Vault though slows down invaders and crew considerably for use in bottlenecks where crew does not need to pass, but something important that needs protecting. And then we have troops, arachnid barracks, grenadier barracks, guard barracks, guard berth, that's cool, guard post, guard po post plus ladder, large guard barracks, well, that's also some cool stuff there, uh, marine barracks, mech suit bay, yep, yep, this mod has mech suits, boom, there you go. Mech suits. Do you enjoy mech suits? Because I enjoy mech suits. Those are going to be a lot of fun to use. Um, and then we have Spider Bay, which of course is normal. And then we have units. Uh, gunner turret. Uh, tank Mark 1. So this is actually just a actual tank on its own. I actually don't... Hmm. Underhang. Yeah, so that's actually allows for a lot more options in ship design. I don't know what this is. This tank comes with an armored body and a cannon just strong enough to punch a hole in most armors. So yeah, actually it looks like we can actually just have a tank on its own, which is really cool. I know a lot of people were asking for having stuff like that, and it looks like with the the, the, the game's creator is actually currently working on adding stuff like planes and things. A fast-running water-cooled barrel mounted to a wide pneumatic gimbal. So basically, yeah, this looks like this is mostly going to be for defensive buildings, but I'm not sure. Uh, CE, Catalyst Expansion Weapons. Okay. Cannon Sharper. The main tray of cannons now filled with a uh, fist size bundle, of especially shrapnel. Um, we have a Death Ray, which of course is, uh, yeah, that's always fun. Always, always love. Oh, nope. Cancel. Always love Death Rays. And then we've got Dorsal Heavy Harpoon, uh, Dorsal Omni Gun, a modified heavy cannon with built in shock absorbs, a lot of cannon that potentially could be rotated in every way. So that's actually really cool. So yeah, this is actually really cool, um, basically allowing uh, Octo Rifle. So this basically allows for, oh, that's like eight rifles in one. Wow, there are so many options. This mod is massive, and we haven't even gotten into like the actual campaign stuff. Dorsal Trigun, what? Oh man, I'm gonna have so much fun with this mod. Heat Ray Heavy Harpoons, Heavy Omni Gun, Mobile Support Module. Wait, Mobile Support Module, what is this? Oh, it could have the long range distance radio antenna and necessary transceivers for signaling back and forth encrypting information it also comes with a device to actually uh accurately calculating distance super weapon work in progress so yeah that might not actually be able to be and some of the stuff might not function 100 percent octo rifle 
uh, piercing rifle. Not that you can call it a rifle anymore. This hand cannon has a special engineer projectile to ignore all armor deflections. So imagine. So yeah, I'm gonna be redesigning the Aussies and just putting putting the <laughs> putting the, the piercing rifle on. So they're just that much more powerful. Um, big uh, big bada boom. This is a temporary test block. Okay, trigun, uh, SAR continental ballistic missile. Um, hold on, a great terrifying rocket carrying a very patent pat. Uh, potent payload capable of bringing down all of the most determined bulwarks of defense so that's a shoot super weapon um i've got the omni guns eventual octo guns uh vertical grand prow uh bring down the hammer so this is for actually um yeah vertical prows are actually a really cool idea basically allows you to like so the ways this would work is you'd actually put it on the bottom of a ship and you can actually basically ram downwards which is cool I really like the idea of that. And then, of course, down where, of course, down to the normal weapons. So, not a whole lot. So, yeah, that's all the normal weapons from the base game. I actually really like that he included a separate section for his own, for the Catalyst expansion uh, thing. So, we're going to go ahead and just plop down a tank. And we're going to just call this, uh, we will call this uh, the, call it the Churchill Mark One. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we're going to just save design. And this is a Churchill Mark 1. Save that. And then we're actually going to open designs. So we've got a Junker and a Tank Mark 2. Uh, I don't I actually think, oh yeah, that is just a tank. So it's the exact same thing. So we're going to just go ahead and get rid of the Churchill. And we'll just keep that. Uh, so I, yeah, actually, let's back out and see what some of our airship editor open design. Um, wow. <laughs> I, I oh man buzzer see yeah like look at this stuff this is so cool uh clockwork uh, i can't read that my elite speak knowledge is not is limited i'm not fluent in elite speak um let's see hms smashing <laughs> oh man i'm like a kid in the candy store right now mechanized single seater wow uh rocket two tadpole double times five unicycle oh i almost forgot we have not actually looked at all this that was all just the oh man we haven't even looked at the actual um those were all land tanks so we haven't actually looked at the options for this stuff because i actually think there might be no actually it looks like everything's gonna be nope nope yeah we have new stuff uh lift giant suspendium chamber oh boy uh helicopter blades oh wow uh small helicopter blades We've got so many options. This is insane. Commerce dust collector. Phantoms can discover that extracts suspendium particles from the very air for use in dust tanks or the use in others. So yeah, that actually, ah, that's so cool. Oh, man, there's so much, so much amazing stuff here. Um, is that propulsion? We have an enhancer. Yeah, we have helicopter blades. That's propulsion. Rocket engine. Uh, sail small helicopter blades. Small propeller. Um... Let's see. I believe there was some other stuff that looked cool from the some of the screenshots I saw. I can't find it. A secondary lift. Da da da. Yeah, man, there is so much here. Um, we got our resources, our shaping structures, our structural stuff, troops, units. Here we go. Uh, back part of the motor. The vehicle needs a lot of micromanagement. So, okay, so this is basically all designed for dust balloons. So, yeah, this is all designed as mechanized single-seater. So, yeah, this is basically all designed to make tiny little ships, which I'm really looking forward to. That's going to – oh, that's so cool. All this stuff is so awesome. Um, so, yeah, give me – ah, I don't know where to begin. Wow, there is so much to this mod. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, yeah, we can just leave building editor let's see what we got for building structural shaping structures is there any like actual oh yeah so com we have a food farm uh your generic farm that grows your standard suspendium in large staple crop lumber shop metal works i wonder how much of this actually has an impact in the like campaign i wonder how much suspending workshop i don't see i don't know how much of this stuff is like actually gonna because uh, right now it looks like most of this Okay, that's just silly. No. So actually, it looks like a tree farm tin care. 
So it looks like a bunch of these structures are primarily, um, looks like most of this stuff is mostly just increases your income for right now. So I, I want, I think, uh, I'll have to know. Um, it would be really nice to know from the creator what all this stuff does. I, I actually probably need to read up on this as well. Um, how much has he been able to actually um, modify the game to include different resource types because that would actually be a really cool thing to add strategy to the campaign where you actually have to like choose buildings for your cities and stuff like that uh, but also of course keeping in mind that your cities can be attacked and those buildings could be destroyed also would make uh, pirate raids more interesting and also would actually allow for the option for like the player or the AI as well, but mostly like the player to actually raid enemy cities with the intention of not capturing them, but just trying to destroy or damage like the commerce buildings um, just to weaken the enemy's economy. That would actually also be pretty cool and interesting. Either way, um, actually, let's see. Do we have armor? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. There is so much dense. Oh, there's so much more. Um, decorations. Uh, looks like all that stuff is more or less the same. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked at decorations before in the base game, so I don't know how it compares. Either way, let's hop back out of here. Actually, no, no, no. Open design. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like he has any. So either way, we're going to just nope, cancel that and leave. We're going to leave and... Oh, boy. <sighs> yeah, actually, I yeah, hear he... Uh, as a side note, as I mentioned before, uh, news, upcoming flyers, airships 9.2 will introduce small flying units like triplanes, air hussars, and clockwork wasps. Uh, so you can check that out. I'm really looking forward to that stuff. Either way, we are going to, uh, I don't, <sighs> okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, that is interesting. Um, yeah. So as I said, we're going to, we're going to be launching a conquest game. Uh, in Cataclysm, uh, but man, ah, I don't know what to do. Uh, I will be right back, guys. I've got to put some thought into what we're going to... Oh, I actually remember what we're going to do. Uh, new game, and we're going to edit arms, and... Uh, it doesn't look like there's any new... It doesn't look like any of this, any of this is new stuff. Okay, or actually, no, yes, there is. Um, I'm trying to look is Boar's Head Base plus for tracked land ships. Looks like he, I think he modified some of the statistics for the coat of arms, but looks like he might have modified some of the stuff, but I'm not quite sure exactly what all this is going to be. But yeah, we're going to design a coat of arms. We're going to start a new conquest. Um, oops, sorry about that. Uh, we're going to be starting a new conquest with this mod and we're going to just be just we're going to just be trying out all of this awesome awesome stuff so yeah I, i'm gonna i'm gonna get that all started but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get the coat of arm design and everything and then we will be back in just a moment so i actually just checked the timestamp for the this video so far and we're actually almost at 20 minutes so i'm actually going to be ending this video here so i know i'm sorry we didn't actually get to see any of the mod in action but you kind of got a sneak peek of all the stuff the mod has to offer and honestly i'm going to just have to kind of wrap my head around this because there's so much to take in and it looks all all of it looks so awesome and cool i am so excited uh so really big props to the creator of this mod um i i believe his name on the steam workshop is just cataclysm uh, so this is Cataclysmic Expansion. Uh, I'm really looking forward to checking this out. We are going to be starting a conquest. That's going to be the next video for airships that I release. And yeah, so uh, just really awesome. I hope you guys are excited as I am. But either way, uh, that's all we have for now. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check back for more. And as always, till next time.